Hi everyone, this is Mr. Kui. Today's lesson is going to focus on the perfect continuous tenses. Like the other tenses, there are three perfect continuous tenses. The present perfect continuous tense, the past perfect continuous tense, and the future perfect continuous tense. First of all, let's see the present perfect continuous tense. What is the formula for you guys to put the verb in the present perfect continuous tense? You simply have to use have or has plus been plus verb in the ing form. Let's look at the table. Positive sentences are going to be like have or has been plus verb ing. For example, have been working. She's been working. For negative sentences, you're going to add not to have. So you, you can have have not or haven't for the short form, has not or hasn't, been plus verb ing. Let's look at these examples. I haven't been working. She hasn't been working. For questions, you're going to use have or has plus subject plus been plus verb ing. For example, have you been working? Has she been working? Intro negative sentences are going to use the following formula. Haven't or hasn't plus subject plus been plus verb ing. For example, haven't you been working? Hasn't she been working? When is the present perfect continuous used? The present perfect simple or continuous here is used for actions that started in the past and stopped recently or are still going on. The focus is on the course or duration of the action, not on the result. It's used to show that an action is still going on. Action that started in the past and is still going on. Here we want to emphasize how long the action has already been going on. Let's look at these examples. We have been successfully working in this field since 1990. I have been working in this company for over five years now. It can also be used for action that stopped recently and has an influence on the present. For example, I'm so tired. I've been working all night. Why am I so tired? Because I have been working all night. I've been trying to change the toner cartridge. Now my fingers are dirty. Okay guys, time to practice. Exercise on present perfect progressive or continuous. Complete the sentences in the present perfect continuous or progressive form. Okay guys, let's correct. Number one, we do business since 1995. We have been doing business since 1995. Number two, Mr. Vincent waits in the entrance hall for 20 minutes already. Answer, Mr. Vincent has been waiting in the entrance hall for 20 minutes already. 
three. Our company supply pumps for almost 20 years. Our company has been supplying pumps for almost 20 years. Four, I need a break. I type in those letters for three hours now. I need a break. I have been typing in those words for three hours now. Five, these customers purchase our machines for over a decade. These customers have been purchasing our machines. Six, for the last 30 minutes, I tried to get through to Mrs. Ryan. For the last 30 minutes, I have been trying to get through. Seven, Jane worked not here for two years, but for five years. You're going to use the negative form because of not. The answer is Jane hasn't been working here for two years. Number eight is a question. So be careful. How long you learn English? The answer is simple. How long have you been learning English? Nine. Martha is completely out of breath. She wrong. Martha is completely out of breath. Has she been running? 10. You read the catalog. It's another question. Have you been reading the catalog? Good job, everyone. Now, let's tackle the second form of the perfect continuous, which is the past perfect continuous. What is the formula here? You need had, or to have in the past form, had, plus been, plus verb, and ing. Let's look at the table. In positive sentences, you will need had been verb ing. For example, had been working, she'd been working. And notice that had can be written in short form. So instead of I had been, you can say had been. For negative sentences, you use hadn't, had not, or hadn't for short forms, been plus verb ing. For example, I hadn't been working. She hadn't been working. For questions, you will use had plus subject plus been plus verb ing. Let's look at these examples. Had you been working? Had she been working? And the last form, intro negative form, hadn't plus subject plus been plus verb ing. For example, hadn't you been working? Hadn't she been working? Now guys, let's look at the usage. When is the past perfect continuous used? It's used for action taking place before a certain time in the past. It is also sometimes interchangeable with past perfect simple. Sometimes past perfect simple and past perfect progressive are the same. They also put emphasis on the course or duration of an action. Let's look at those three examples. He had been talking. He had not been talking. Had he been talking? Here, we use the positive form, the negative form, and the, the interrogative form. Now, here's an exercise to practice your past perfect continuous. 
So let's do it together. Number one, we sleep for 12 hours when you woke us up. We had been sleeping for 12 hours when you woke us up. Number two, they wait at the station for 90 minutes when the train finally arrived. They had been waiting at the station for 90 minutes when the train finally arrived. Three, we look for a ring. Answer, we had been looking for a ring. Four, I not walk for a long time. Answer, I hadn't been walking for a long time. Five, here we have a question. How long learned she English before she went to London? How long had she been learning English before she went to London? Number six, Frank Sinatra caught the flu because he sing in the rain too long. Frank Sinatra caught the flu because he had been singing in the rain too long. Seven, he drive less than an hour when he ran out of petrol. He had been driving less than an hour. Eight, they were very tired in the evening because they help on the farm all day because they had been helping on the farm all day. Nine, I not work all day, so I wasn't tired and went to the disco at night. I hadn't been working all day. Number 10, they cycle all day. They had been cycling all day. Good job, everyone. Now let's see the last section of perfect continuous tenses. Actually, the last section is devoted to the future. Future perfect continuous can be represented as will, have been, plus verb, plus ing. Let's look at the table. In positive sentences, you're going to have will have been plus verb ing. For example, I'll have been working. She'll have been working. Let's know that will can be turned into its short form. So you will have apostrophe double L. So I'll have been working. The negative form won't have been plus verb ing. I won't have been working. She won't have been working. For questions, will plus subject plus have plus been plus verb ing. For example, will you have been working? Will she have been working? The last form is the intro negative form. Want plus subject plus have plus been plus verb ing. I know it's a little bit too long, but let's just apply the rule. So here's the sentence. Won't you have been working? Won't she have been working? Now let's see when this tense is used. Here, we are projecting ourselves forward in time 
and looking back at the duration of that activity. Future perfect progressive is not used very often as it can usually be replaced by future perfect simple. It refers to action taking place before a certain time in the future and it puts an emphasis on the course of an action. For example, it will have been talking. In November, I will have been working at my company for three years. Now let's do the following exercise to practice the future perfect continuous. Okay guys, I know it took a little bit long to do this, but let's try to do it together. Put the verbs into the correct form. Future two or future perfect progressive or continuous. Number one. By the end of the week, I work here for four months. I will have been working here for four months. Number two, by the end of this month, we live together for six years. We will have been living together. Three, by the end of the term, she study for nine years. By the end of the term, she will have been studying for nine years. Four, by midnight, we play this computer game for 48 hours. By midnight, we will have been playing. Number five, she talked on the phone for the last couple of hours. She will have been talking on the phone for the last couple of hours. Number six, they look for me all night long. They will have been looking for me all night long. Seven, he play soccer all day long. He will have been playing soccer all day long. You watch TV all the time. You will have been watching TV all the time. Nine, he not sleep all morning. He will not or he won't have been sleeping all morning. And 10, this is a question. Wait they for two hours. Will they have been waiting for two hours? Good job, everyone. Now let's recap. We saw three tenses of the perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. And we say that the present perfect Continuous is used for actions that started in the past and stopped recently or are still going on. The focus is on the course or duration of the action, not on the result. And the form or the formula is have or has plus been plus verb ing. Brass perfect continuous are going to put an emphasis on the course or duration of a past action before another past action. The formula here is add plus pin plus verb ing. As for the future perfect continuous, it helps us project ourselves forward in time and look back at the duration of that, of that activity. Will have been verb I N G. That's all for today. I hope you keep fit for next time. Goodbye for now and see you next time.